Hi there, this is Rob from Reason101.net and uh, I'm here to introduce you to some exciting new developments that I've been working on. Um, some new modular audio processing systems in Reason. So I'm going to start off by introducing you to the audio drum processing unit that I've uh, created. And basically this is a unit that surrounds a redrum device. Um, basically, you can load up any kit that you want and uh, you can process your drums using a number of sends up above here. And then underneath, you can process your drums individually. You, you can process uh, the bass drum, snare, tams, claps, uh, toms, hi-hats, the open hi-hats and the closed hi-hats, and the rim shot. So you've got 10 different processing units underneath the main redrum. You've also got a global effects unit here, and uh, like I said, you have three send units here, and they're all interconnected for you to process your drum loops. What you can do is you can create short, quick loops that you can bounce to your audio, or you can integrate this into your own systems and into your own songs. Um, basically, the way it works is you follow the arrows within the system. You can see this is a send because it's going back up into the mixer and then coming back down into the sound source. And then um, from there, you can kind of go in and um, process all your different sounds. Uh, so let's uh, take a listen and we'll uh, start it off. So here we have the rock kit, and this is pretty much raw. Um, this FX unit up here, it's a four in one unit. It's got some delays, some feedback, a vocoder, um, and you can listen to it here. I'll just turn it on. Turn it off, turn it back on again. Let's mute a few more channels here. And then there's another filter unit down here, which I'll turn that on. You can play around with the filter types. Play with the frequency. Resonance. There's even an envelope you can turn on. Okay, so that's basically the different uh, send units. There's also a verb unit, reverb unit you can turn on. Which you probably can't hear very well because I do have a global reverb on. So here's the dry signal. And here's with the reverb. And then that goes through the, um, then basically your sound source here is sent out to your global effects unit. Um, in here you can, uh, you have a boost. This works on all the drums at once. You have a reverb amount. You have a tape compression and you also have a depth parameter Let's just turn off that. so you enable the depth and then you can play around with your depth okay so that's that. And then the bass drum, I'll just play around with a few different, um, well, let's just mute this. Uh, actually, let's solo that. Okay, um, now you've got the bass drum. Uh, what you can do is you can um, use the parallel mix to mix back in the original signal. Um, the delay amount, you can actually uh, turn up the amount of delay here. Okay, there's the amount over here and then the delay time over here. And that's true of all the different drums underneath. Okay, then you can turn up the chorus amount, uh, the compression depth, there's some EQ there, some low cut, some soft knee, and that's your, uh, your bass drum. Um, and then let's go into your snare. And uh, what you're doing is you can use these three rotaries. The reason why the arrows are here is these three rotaries are basically your sound. So you can start off with nothing, where nothing is processed. And then you can turn up a high snare sound. 
you can turn that off and use a fat snare sound. Or you can turn up the muted snare sound. And then you can turn on different effects here, like a tin can effect, dampened effect, or you can mix back in the different signals. You can mix back in an amount of the high snare, an amount of the fat snare, an amount of the muted snare. These are all parallel processed um, and then fed back into a single signal that gets sent back into the uh, main mixer on the top. And like I said, all the drums have a delay here, so you can turn it up. And it's just a very basic delay. Okay, you also have a unison device in here. You have a chorus that you can turn on. Um, and then the same thing happens for the snare drum below it. And pretty much uh, the same type of controls for the other drums along down in the system. There's 15 units in total, 15 different combinators. They're all connected together. And like I said, you can use them all together. Uh, another feature of this is if you look at the um, sequencer for a second, um, I've created different, um, basically different tracks for all the different combinators. So it's all ready to go for you, ready to mix in and uh, work your magic on it. So that is the drum processing unit, the audio drum processing system. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope this gives you a good introduction to what you can do with it. Um, again, come back to my site at reason101.net and uh, purchase the refill which will be available on August 1st. Thanks very much for listening.